All right. Um. Well, this is gonna be the um, Arakali fight. Uh, I'm taking her on on my ranger here. Let me show you what I got. Single target is Viper Strike with Multi Strike, Vile Toxins, and Faster Attacks. My AoE ability, Blade Flurry, with Life Gain on Hit, Poison Support, and Unbound Ailments. Uh, main Movement Ability. Charge Dash with faster attacks and poison support. And the reason I have uh, faster attacks in there with uh, Charge Dash, the way it works is uh, it's channeled. You go going from point A to point B, and when you release the mouse button, she does a whole she does a bunch of attacks from all from that whole from point A to point B. Um, guessing faster attacks means she does more of those attacks uh, along the way. So, that's why that's in there. And then poison support, hoping that she poisons more of them. More of them in that, in that range. Summon stone golem. With faster attacks, poison support. Sensing a theme there. And some elemental resist. Vitality, just for some life regen. Same with my Stone Golem, too. Uh, Leap Slam is my, um, it's basically my emergency movement. Like, it, that also assumes I actually remember to use it. Um, I flip flop between Charge Dash and Leap Slam now. I find Charge Dash to be much easier to control than Leap Slam, where Leap Slam, I got this, this issue. Flip it, hate that. Because if I have the, if I have the mouse pointer too far out, she runs first and then leaves, which is very annoying. Whereas at least at least with charge dash, you know, big old bright blue illusion there, you know, easier to see where it's gonna end up, so more accurate. So. It, yeah, basically slower but more accurate. This is what I use if I have more time. Leap slam is something I use when I need to get out of there immediately. Um, and then I also have Poacher's Mark with Blasphemy attached to it. Makes it into a passive horror or not some skill that I have to constantly cast every few seconds. And for the fight, I only did, I only saw a video, I gave a video once over. So basically, I'm going in blind. All I really know about her is uh, she does a lot of laser attacks, and she deals a fair amount of chaos damage. Which, I'm going to have a bit of a problem with. I'm going to take 4% more damage from it. Like I said, I'm basically going in here blind. And in this battle here, I'm probably going to end up uh, brute forcing my way through. Reason being is uh, from um, from this temple all the way to this point was uh, a lot of uh, green pea shooter monsters and I don't want to have to deal with them again. Sometimes they even bring me down to almost zero life too, so... I guess I can show you my flasks too. They're all, except for that one, but this one here uh, gives me evasion. But the others are centered on healing me up in a shorter amount of time. Then I got extra damage there, and then some double evasion there. Well, wish me luck. And let's hope my uh, computer doesn't restart or my game don't crash.
Okay, she's moving. Whoa, was not paying attention. Whoa! Must be chowing down on silk. No, I want to move. I want to move. sending a whole bunch of them. Where are you going to pop up? Ah! Uh, yes, resurrected checkpoint. Kind of a bittersweet victory. Like I said, the only reason why I wanted to brute force my way through this is because I don't want to have to deal with those little green pea shooters again. And there was a lot of them. From the start of the temple all the way up to here. So, the only reason. But, otherwise, that'll do it for the fight. And I guess I'm on my way to Act 8.